Good day class. Our lesson for today is all about a Venn diagram. So we have here the following objectives to apply the concept of Venn diagram to solve word problems involving sets and to apply the concept of set operations to solve word problems. So at the end of our video lesson, we should be able to attain these objectives. So let's now have our first example. So the Venn diagram shows student involvement in two sports, namely swimming and basketball. If 100 students were surveyed, how many students were first into swimming but not basketball? Into both swimming and basketball? Into either swimming or basketball? And lastly, neither into swimming nor basketball. So for us to be able to solve the following, Let's have the first one, into swimming but not basketball. So here, we can represent it in a form of a Venn diagram. Okay, So we have here S for swimming, B for basketball. And here is our data. As you can see in our Venn diagram, the one shaded is 15. Only this one. Why? Because it includes those in S, only the elements in S, and not in B, or what we call S minus B, or the difference of swimming and basketball. Or simply put, when we say into swimming but not basketball, it's just the swimming only. Why did we not shade the 20? As you can see here, 20 is part of the basketball, right? So we only have to shade 15, therefore the answer there is 15 students. Second, into both swimming and basketball, Rem representing that into Venn diagram, so we have shaded here the middle part 20. Why? Because of the word and, it is the set of the intersection of S and B. Meaning to say, these are the elements that are both in swimming and basketball, the ones that they have in common. So that is at the middle which is 20 students. Third, into either swimming or basketball. Okay, So we have represented that shading all of the sets or the elements in the given sets S and B. So we have here the word or that's pertaining to the union of the S and B, meaning to say all of the elements included in both swimming and basketball. Therefore, we just need to add these elements, 15 plus 20 plus 30. The answer is 65 students. Lastly, neither into swimming nor basketball. So when we say neither, it means excluded or not included. Therefore, it's the opposite of our third question. So it doesn't include the elements that are in S or B. Okay, so that is the complement of the union of S and B. So we all know that the universal set, we asked 100 students, okay? And the totality of our sets S and B last time is 65. So 15 plus 20 plus 30 is 65. Therefore, we just need to subtract the totality or the universal 100 minus 65 or subtract the elements in the given set S and B from 100. The difference is 35 students. So 35 students don't want to swim or don't know how to swim nor to play basketball. Okay, So let's have the second example. 40 students were asked who among them are watching YouTube or in YouTube and Netflix. So 12 watch YouTube only. Well, 18 watch Netflix only and the rest watch either in the two platforms. So here are our questions. How many are YouTube viewers, Netflix viewers, and how many students are watching both? As you can see, it's on, uh, the only given here are the values or the words. Okay, so we, what we need to do is to form or draw our Venn diagram. So, basing on our given, 
So here we have the sets YouTube and Netflix. Okay, so we name or we label our sets, joint sets, YouTube and Netflix. So what is the value for the YouTube? So here, 12 watch YouTube only. When we say YouTube only, that's Y minus N. So here we have to put the 12. Okay, next, 18 watch Netflix. So here it is. And the rest watch either in the two platforms. So how do we know the value of the rest watching either in the two platforms remember that we have 40 students right in our universal set so if we have already 12 and 18 the sum would be 30 so subtracting that from 40 students we only have the rest is 10 okay and those 10 should be written at the middle meaning to say both watch youtube and netflix so here now is our Venn diagram. Since we have already our Venn diagram, we can now answer the following questions. First, the YouTube viewers. The answer is 22 students. Why is it 22? As you can see here in our Venn diagram, the set YouTube is this entire circle, this entire set. Okay, And in this set, we have... 12 and 10. So we need to add them. The answer is 22. It wasn't stated that YouTube only, right, for it to become 12. It stated that how many are YouTube viewers, meaning to say all of the members in this set YouTube. That's why we added 12 and 10. Same way, when we say Netflix viewers, just add the two. Here is the Netflix, the entire circle here. 10 plus 18, the answer is 28. And lastly, both YouTube and Netflix. So that is the intersection of the two sets or the elements that they have in common, which is 10. So the answer is 10 students. Okay, so let's now have our third example. So here, as you can see in our third example, we have three sets, okay? So 50 people were asked about the pets they keep at home. So the Venn diagram shows the results. So let D are the people who have dogs, F people who have fish, C people who have cats. So here are the values. As you can see, the values in our Venn diagram are already given. So how many people have dogs, dogs and fish, dogs or cats, fish and cats but not dogs, dogs or fish but not cats, all three, and lastly, neither of the three. Okay, so we have your seven questions that we need to answer. So first, how many people have dogs? Again, for the dogs, here is the set for the entire circle the entire population of the dog so what do we need to do is just add all the elements included in this set so 19 plus 1 20 plus 7 27 plus 12 the answer is 39 people have dogs at home another dogs and fish we encountered again the word and meaning to say that is the intersection of dog and fish the elements that they have in common so if our dog is this one and fish is this so what they have in common is this circle the one at the middle okay so here adding these elements seven plus one the answer is eight people next dogs or cats so here if we have the word or meaning to say that's the union or the combination of all the elements that dog and cats have so here is the element for or here is the set for dog and here is for cats so we just need to add them all and the sum would be 42 people okay next fish and cats but not dogs so here, fish and cats. So here is the intersection of fish and cats. So here is the fish and here's the cats. As you can see, they intersect around here, this one. Can you see that? Okay. 
However, we have here on the question not dog. So if here is the intersection, but not including the dog, and here is our dog, right? Okay. So, meaning to say one is not the answer or one is not included. Therefore, here is the only answer. And as you can see, we don't have any given to that. Therefore, zero people or none. Okay. Next, dogs are fish but not cats. So, again, or is pertaining to the union of the dogs and fish. Okay. So, here is the dogs, the set for dogs, and here is the set for fish. However, we are not to include the cats. Okay? So, therefore, we only have here the 19, 7, and 6. Okay? We do not include the 12 and 1 since it overlapped with the set cats. Okay? So, adding these three elements, the answer is 32 people. And all three, that's the intersection of all three. Okay? That's the most inner or at the middle part, and that is one person, this one, okay? And neither of the three. We all know that our universal set is 50 people, and the totality of all these elements in the dog, fish, and cat sets, the sum would be 48. So, subtracting 48 from 50, neither of the three would be two people, all right? So, that is our example for the two Venn diagram or two sets and the three sets. Okay, so here now is your assignment. We only have two items. The first one is this, given already the Venn diagram, and the second is this. Okay. So kindly pause this one for you to answer and do not forget to upload your answers on our LMS. And here are the questions. Thank you.